Hello, welcome back to devlog number two for Bobo game. So about a year ago, it might have been more or, or less, I can't remember, I made a devlog about a basically a child garden, I guess you could call it like a spiritual successor game that I'm working on. Um, since then, uh, probably seven to eight months out of that year, I was very busy with life things, bought a house and everything, so I didn't work on it, but the plan was always to get back to it. So the past couple months, been doing a lot of work on the game and I thought it would be a good time to kind of make another devlog and hopefully well not hopefully I'm it I will <laughs> it's uh, I need to be consistent about it every month I'll make a devlog uh, I don't know how long just like 10 15 minutes kind of showcasing new features um just like new things I added to the game and then throughout that month hopefully there's more updates on Twitter and uh, YouTube shorts and TikTok well I'll figure it out um but I just want to kind of get started make one to kind of show some new stuff. I think it'll be fun. Um, hopefully it's not too long and drawn out. Uh, this is obviously not the view I use in Unity. I just kind of made this one to uh, make it easier to kind of see for the devlog. So there's now a main menu. A um, Couple things. So this is a new garden. It is obviously uh, not done. I, I am not confident about any of this staying the same, um, but this is currently kind of the layout. I'm going with and it'll probably be like this for a little bit um i kind of want to get all the base gameplay loop stuff out of the way then i'll attack art more head on so uh bobo's game is also now called bobo bay it's not just bobo game or whatever unnamed bobo bay and as i look uh clearly inspired by chow's um i figure this is a good way to go um oop. so these are how they look and they're cute little guys pick them up. I have some new UI uh, to kind of show off their stats. So previously in the last year or the last video, um, Bobo's had I think 16 stats and now it's eight, a lot more manageable. The colors of this uh, change based on the Bobo you picked up. So that's, I think, kind of a fun little thing. But yeah, so we have strength, agility, jump, run, climb, swim, acceleration, stamina. And those will be all the main ones. It's obviously going to be something like intelligence and luck, and maybe some other ones that are hidden and kind of work a different way. But yeah, your Bobo has a grade, and that grade determines your potential in each of the skills, and then each of your skills have a potential of their own, and that's kind of that white outline you see in that stats. Um, and those, those circles underneath it are right here. They, those are basically the your progress until upgrading this until it has more potential. That's how that looks. Oops. And then what else? So we got this, and then uh, a big thing now, we have a town. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually in the before, but you can pick them up, and then they can also follow you. So this one's slow as hell, so it'll take a while, but they'll follow you into the different areas. And then in the town, we will get nothing uh, except a shop. So kind of a temp shop. Uh, this is kind of how all of the shops will work. So if you come up here, See how things are worth. There'll be a way to actually see what it does. Um, but you can buy them. And then they'll be sold. The pathfinding in this area is not set up. So he's just kind of wandering. And then you can head back. And then basically it just kind of stores your inventory. Your money was spent. Um, there's no visual for money yet. And it'll pop out. And then you can uh, feed it to your, your bubbles. Look at that. Perfect. And then I don't even remember what that was for. So... Uh, if you remember, you can probably see the stat change. There's a forest, so this is brand new. Uh, it's definitely like not final or how it's going to be. But if you go into this little cave right here, you can go to this secret forest. And in a forest, the plan is that there will always be a bobo here every day and every night, a new one, um, for the kind of you to adopt. Right now, you just pick it up and you take it home, so I'll do that. These Bobos will be the lowest rank. They'll have some potential in some of those things. Uh, their stats are always at 500. They start off there. Um, but yeah, if you take it to the doorway, it'll basically be part of your crew. I'm not going to do that right now since... No. No, I'm not doing it. So next, I think a good thing to show would be a little competition. So now if you grab your Bobo and you hop into this area right here, you'll go to the sport complex. Um, so in here, 
is kind of where any competition you want to do will be. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be adding this in, but as you see, when you kind of transition between scenes, there is a time and date that is a brand new thing. So like there's a full time and date system. Uh, you can advance the day in the bed. There is a bed in the garden, it's just not, it's like a sphere on the ground, you probably saw it, and it just kind of moves the day forward. Uh, there will be a hammock that you can go half a day, so that'll be to the night, so then you can go daytime. But right now, I'm just worrying about daytime. So right now, it kind of, through these uh, races, there's only three in the game that I have um, activated, and normally you'll be able to actually go in and, on that big screen right there, Schedule yourself and schedule that Bobo for different events coming up. Uh, there's always going to be plenty of events every day. And default, if you don't have anything selected for the day, it'll just pick some. Uh, right now it's completely random and just anything for the day. And these are all part of bigger series. So these are all part of one series. I think it's called uh, Bespa National Park Roundabout. So uh, Bespa National Park is that map you see, uh, which we'll go into in a sec. And... Each map can be used by different series, but this series specifically, I think is I have it as five or six uh, competitions long. It starts off with a star race, which is basically an all-arounder. You're swimming, you're running, you're climbing, and then you have a bunch of individual, like just running, just climbing, just swimming. Uh, there'll be more right now. That's kind of the, the main core. And then the final one, I think, is a star race. And you basically try to beat the whole thing. Every time you beat one of these individually, you'll get money plus items that are specific uh, for those and how you do it is you kind of place it right here let's go in here and we'll see how this works All right so i opened this up in actually the scene view um so i can show it here so here's the map i made i kind of spent a lot of this like a month or two dedicated to really just trying to work on art um so obviously the Bobo's designs have changed, new animations and all that. And there's actually a lot that has to do with how they look and customization, but we will, uh, I'll show that off in a different video because there's a lot to go over there. Um, so this is the map though. And I spent some time trying to make it look decent. You know, something that was pretty basic, kind of like a lot of first worlds and games are this green landscape and very light and, and bright and everything like this. So I wanted to make something similar This is a national park. Um, it's not fully done, but I think it got to the point where I was pretty happy with it. And I'm like, this could work. Uh, I'll obviously come back and, and do more stuff to it at a later point. But for now, it works. And we can put a ton of different competitions here. So how the system works, you'll kind of see it here. But you have this base map, which is this Vespa National Park. And that's all that is. It's just kind of the map, lighting, all that. And then... The actual competition related stuff, so cameras and the checkpoints, anything else, it's logic for what the bobos, the bobos themselves are in a separate scene that then I can just have this base map, change that, and then have as many different unique competitions I want on top of that map. And then I can add stuff like these props you see here. So if I turn off the gizmos, you'll see it a little bit better. Yeah, so all those things are specific to this this scene i'm just kind of i played around with a bunch of different things so i have a bunch of these props that can kind of be generated just depending on what series you're doing so i think this one yeah it's called like best national park roundabout so it'll have something like that on there and who knows if this makes it into the final game um this exact race but i think it's a good way to kind of test out Anything I need to do, there's a bunch of stuff I need to fix with the actual pathfinding and how they race. And then at a later point, once kind of that base gameplay loop is done with everything, I'm going to go back and start making more maps because I have a ton of ideas for creative and cool maps. Um, but right now, this is kind of the base one that I wanted to use for the Steam page and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty all right. Uh, so basically in the game view, I'm in here and you can hit start. And we can kind of see how a uh, little competition works. So Power Gary here, ooh, I did not set the right one. So there's going to be slow. It should give a, a decent look at how they might work. So yeah, so new animations. Uh, you can switch between them to kind of see who you want to see. Uh, 
yeah, Power Gary not doing great. So let's not watch them. Maybe we'll go to uh, Ragtime. So as you can kind of kind of see a glimpse at some of the neat Bobo things. So or the actual like customization of it. So oh man, he's fast. Uh, but kind of like colors and there's different patterns. Like I said, I'll go over that. I'm really excited about some of the ideas I have for it. Um, oh, I think what's his name? Yeah, Batty. He really stepped ahead. Oh, he ran out of stamina. That's what happened to the other one. So top right, you can see there's stamina. Um, he's out too. Uh, so what's happening here is I actually set up the wrong... You can kind of connect. I'll show it actually in this video, but how I have the competition set up is basically it has a bunch of data for what the opponent Bobo should be like. And because I backed out, I exited the scene and uh, replayed it. I forgot to set that to the new one. So really slow. So I think nor like normally uh, Bobo's this slow will not be uh, competing in a race like this long. So Bobo's that are new and don't have high stats are probably not going to be on something this long since their stamina won't take them that far. So I think it'd be interesting to show real quick, just as a final thing. So this is kind of a scriptable object I'm using to store data on the different um, competitions. Um, again, this is kind of a big thing I want to do next. Uh, I'm reworking a lot of this, but yeah, some stuff like running race. Again, like this is probably going to change, but then you have a connection to the series. It's a part of these are the rank of the Bobos that you're competing against. Um, yeah, the item reward you'll get. This is nothing currently, uh, but you can I can select kind of whatever I want, like the blue bulb fruit. Uh, participation award. So that's basically like, you'll get money every time you do anything. Um, and then the money reward is specifically on top of that, like if you win. And then, so the map scene, so it knows for the load, how many bobos, so this is the teammate thing. So if I just set that to three, then um, if, if that specific map um, competition scene, so the map has nothing to do with it, but if that checkpoint system was built in a way to uh, be good for a relay race, it would work. Um, and you can have up to, I mean, I, I guess I could do more. There's actually nothing stopping it to do more, uh, but I think I'm just going to max it out at three. So you can do one, two, and three on the number of teams. Uh, UI stuff is actually going to be removed here completely. This is kind of anything that you saw on the screen like this. I have a bunch of, that's a weird way of doing it. So I'm changing that. I'll probably cover that and what I did to change it. Uh, and then, yeah, this is kind of a cool thing. So here's how I'm doing, basically how it creates the bobos you're facing. Um, it takes that grade, makes a bunch of bobos in that grade be uh, with the potentials like that. It randomizes their potential in each stat. And then this is like the focus. So uh, this race specifically, uh, it's actually not this one. It's a different one. Uh, but it'll be like, this one's focused a lot on run. So this is like, it's kind of just, I'm eyeballing it. Um, it's a way for me to kind of, you can change difficulty just based on uh, what I think the difficulty and like the rewards should be. So even if the Bobos are ranked really high, I can move all these bars down. So they're actually not as good as they could be. Um, so it's just a, a quick way. It's still randomized, but this is a quick way to generally give how the competition should feel. And then uh, this is finally. So again, I don't want to go too much into this because there's not much visual for it, but every single competition uh, will happen on their own thing. So there's a full calendar system and some of them that we want to happen all the time will be like basically every day, but then I can easily make it. So this series is actually only on in the summer and every year it happens during the summer. And if you lose and don't do well, you're going to have to wait for that next year. And that way Bobos are going to be evolving and they don't really die in a way like they'll be they'll they'll die in quotes and then they can evolve and you'll constantly be able to, to try again and the days won't feel long but there's gonna be so many events that you should never have to worry about it there'll just be a ton of things to compete on and different items to get uh different kind of and this this uh schedule system this date system will be used for stuff like the town and uh what bobos you can find in the forest like that will the date and time and will influence you know what you can find so that is all that. Uh, I think that's enough. I will save the rest for later. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is exciting. Uh, please uh, go to the Steam page. It's in the description. 
and wishlist the game if you're interested. Uh, I really, I want, you know, Child Garden is really awesome concept that hasn't really been attempted since, and I would love ideas and feedback, and I just want to hear what everyone wants at a game like this. Um, I'm really enjoying working on it, and there's so many fun things with the customization of the Bobos and accessories I'm adding in and different maps, and I want everyone's ideas. So please subscribe to the channel, follow my Twitter, I'll make a TikTok too, and then yeah, please wish list, and I'll try to announce anything else I do to share progress. But thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.